Echo, what's on my to-do list? You have two items on your to-do list. Go fishing and drink beer. All right, here we go. Made it to 9th Street. <clears throat> and I've got, for bait, squid, some shrimp, and a lobster tail. I don't normally fish with lobster tail as bait, <laughs> but uh, I'll explain that later. I'm gonna get my stuff set up and um, get the lines out there and then I'll explain it. Tell you what, perfect weather today. Got my flippy floppies. I got my swim trucks and my flippy floppies. Uh, it's like 72 degrees out here. It's pretty nice. Water temperature, I'm not too sure. I didn't check. I would say like low 60s maybe. Mid 60s, probably somewhere in there. It's uh, like flat calm, no wind. It's perfect. Before I forget, uh, let me see. They both have four odd circle hooks. That's got a two, two ounce uh, pyramid sinker and that's got a four. That one's got shrimp on it and this one's got squid. Once I figure out kind of what they're biting and all that, uh, I'll switch one of them to whatever they're biting. And then the other one, I'll put lobster on and see if they'll eat it. Might have one on this. I don't know if they're still chewing it. Check. Yeah, fish on. It's a good one. Oh, don't go that way. Big dog fish. Try to swing him up and over. It's a big, big one. I believe it is a male. I think the males have the claspers. Now with these guys, they do have um, venomous uh, spines. They're right on the back right there. And there's another one right behind his fin right there. So I try to keep my hand away from those as best I can. That's a spiny dogfish. All right, let him go back in. laser this thing out as far as I can. It's a pretty good cast. I'll take it. Oh, this one's rocking and rolling. All right, so they're eating. I got one on this one. Oh yeah. Get on.
Don't go into my other line, please. dance. Ooh. Oh, he knows he's hooked. Come on. Get, come this way. No! Get out. Did I lose him? Nope, he's still there. It's another big one. He snapped right off. Ugh. All right, try it again. They are pretty aggressive today. Uh, as you can see, I just finished tying the high-low rig for this one. I just got to put the weight and the hooks on, and this one's already going. What the heck is that? What is this? <laughs> it's like no pull to it, but oh, uh, there we go. Yeah, it's a dogfish. It's a bigger one. Perfect time for a phone call, too. Yo. Happy birthday, buddy. Let me call you back. I'm fighting a shark. See ya. Ooh. <laughs> It's either a shark or a ray. Oh man. Oh. It's definitely a bigger one. Get up here. Foul hooked. That's how. That explains everything. All right, get him up. And then he got tail wrapped too. So let me try to get him up and over. Oh, he did bite it. This will be interesting to try to get out. I'm just gonna start cutting the, all the stuff off. All right, be free, my friend. Whew. All right, next one. I'm gonna do lobster now, now that I know they're biting. So my phone call, the one I just I just had, uh, is my friend Adam, and he's in Arizona. He's a police officer out there, and he was in the Marines with me. Him and I grew up together, and then we went into the Marines together. So uh, today is the Marine Corps birthday, so happy birthday to all the Marines out there. And yeah, so we all call each other on the Marine Corps birthday and drink our beers tonight and relax, and it's pretty good. All right. Uh, let me see. This one's retied back up. I'm gonna send it back out and I'll put squid back on it, but I'll do lobster on that one. And the story on the lobster, I don't normally fish with it and it pains me to fish with it because I like lobster. Uh, the problem that we had was we went out to our deep freezer in the garage. It's the same one that I film some of my videos on that little white chest freezer and um, we went to open it and it was toast 
uh, not just toast. It was a couple, had to be a couple days of just not working. So um, I'm not sure if the compressor went or what, but uh, yeah, everything in there was starting to warm up. I ran to Home Depot as quick as I could. I got another one and then I came back. We like switched everything over as quick as we could while well, we had to wait for the new one to cool down. Then we switched it all over and then uh, I lost the lobster. It was a lobster, two claws, a uh, pack of chicken tenderloins, two kielbasas, and a pack of hot dogs. So out of everything that I have in there, which was like a whole lot of stuff, I'm happy that it was just, just this. But I am upset that the lobster was pretty much ruined. So um, instead of eating it and getting sick, I'll try and use it as bait and see if they eat it. All right, here we go. I'm gonna get it uh, baited up. I just cut it right down the middle. Um, it is kind of, it kind of feels almost like, it's not mushy, but it's like uh, not as firm as squid, but it should work fine. Let's see if they eat it. I'm sure they will. rest of this off. It's like outside skin is like good. That's the more like firm spot to hook it. If, if not, if it's like all gooey and nasty, uh, I bought some bait bags with those self-tying like floss paper stuff so I'll put it in that if if I can't get it to stay on the hook it is kind of mushy the middle you know what I'm putting lobster on that one too definitely gonna do it I already cut it up I already have it I can't refreeze it so I'm definitely putting lobster on it. I think what I'm gonna have to do though is get one of those bags. I'll show you what I'm talking about. I never used one before. I got them for um, sheep's head fishing. Underneath the bridge. But um, the conditions this year were uh, absolutely garbage. So I never got to use them. Um, saw someone use one once. They were talking about they just pretty much pull one out and then put a piece of it in the bag and then wrap the like floss looking stuff around it. It like ties to itself. Oh, I got it. It's pretty easy. I'm going to, uh, let me see. Take this chunk of lobster and I'm gonna put it in this bag. It's not really a bag, they said they were. I think it just pretty much like folds over like this. I'm just gonna twist it and then wrap it in this stuff. I don't know, like 15 times I guess. Sure, that seems to work. Then I'll cut the rest of the bag off. A little like bait ball. I think that'll work. I don't know. It seems kind of iffy. I'm gonna put the top one without it. And put more of this outside skin on. Let's see if that works. Okay, here we go. This 
see what happens see if they'll eat it so would they prefer squid or lobster i would prefer lobster so the good news is the fish ate the lobster maybe or it just fell off i'm not sure but i made two little other little uh little bait bags i'll put those on and and try it again see if that works i gotta say it's not looking too promising neither rod has gotten a bite i guess fish don't eat lobster i'm gonna switch this one and put squid on it and leave the other one and let it soak the other one's got the two bait bags i guess i'm, I'm just more like curious about it because Nobody's going to go to the store and buy lobster and put it on a hook and use it for bait. Okay, here's the test. This one's got squid and the other one's got the lobster. Let's see which one eats it. Yeah, so this one's getting bites right now. If you can see it. See, there you go. And, um, and that one hasn't got anything. Get out. Is there one on the lobster one? I just started getting good bites. Let's see if you can see it. See it? It's definitely going. Did I get one? <laughs> There's definitely a fish on there. What is it though? It doesn't feel like a shark. Maybe a small one? Yeah, a small one. That's crazy. The other bag is picked, uh, picked clean. These are the smooth dogfish. They don't have uh, the spots or the spines, the venomous spines. But they will try to bite you. And they do have teeth. That's it. Send him back. See what he did to the bag. Untangle this mess. So that one, it's still in the bag. He pretty much almost chomped it off. And then the other one is basically picked out. Like they like chewed it open and you can see where they were tearing at it. I stand corrected. The dogfish sharks like lobster. All right, I'm gonna try it again. And cut uh, little pieces about that big put them back in the bags uh, wrap it with the string again and hook it back up and see if they bite it <laughs> I, can't, I can't believe I'm fishing with lobster <laughs> it's like painful to do but what else am I gonna do with it because I would I would just have to throw it out might as well use it for bait Got my lobster balls on there. I just hooked it through once and just right out the bag. The bag is actually pretty easy to hook through. I see the lobster rod kind of moving a little bit. I wonder if something's trying to chew on it. Oh, they're definitely getting hits. That one's, yeah, that one's going too might be doubled up yeah there we go fish on this one let 
watching the old lobster rod too at the same time. It's getting hits. Get him up as quick as I can. That's a chunky one. Really, really chunky one. It's one of the bigger ones I've caught. i try to get him up. Hopefully the line won't break. Come on, don't break. Don't break. Yes! Oh. It's a big, uh, big dogfish. And the hook just came out too, so this will be good trying to get him. Interesting. Move the line out of the way. Try to flip them. I really don't feel like getting spined today. It's a big one. It's peeing all over the place too. Let him go. Whew. That was one of the bigger ones I've caught. So that's gonna be it for me. That was the last little lobster. We can confirm the fish do eat the lobster. <laughs> I'm gonna reel this in and see, see what they did to the bag. They were picking at it, but I don't, uh, I don't think it was the dogfish. I think it was something else. Which might explain why the first one, the bag was kind of picked open. Maybe like the sea bass just tearing at it or something. We'll check it out though. Yeah, same thing. Both the bags are picked open. I don't know, those bags hold on pretty good. I mean, there's still lobster in there. It's still like in the bag. That's pretty good. Some other news from me, uh, the channel just hit 500 subscribers, so I'm um, super, super excited about that. It's absolutely insane. I never thought it would. I was just kind of fishing for fun at first and doing this as like a, a little uh, side project um, just so I could like look back on fishing stuff that I've done or uh, uh, have like family watch it stuff like that but um yeah absolutely incredible i really 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 do appreciate everybody for watching and it means a lot to me and um yeah thanks 500 that's crazy halfway to a thousand the goal is to get to a thousand so i'll get there someday all right thanks again i'll see you next time